Hi, kindergarten friends. Hi, guys. How are you? Today, we're going to read a book about Pesach called I Love Passover by Marilyn Hirsch. And this book will help us learn more about Pesach, learn more about the story of Pesach. Um, should we take a little bit of a look at the cover? Yeah, we have a cool cover, guys. Okay, let's go. So this cover, let's open it up. It's two-sided. So the front and the back both have illustrations for us. So it looks like maybe that's part of their feather table, their Pesach table. See the little girl? She's holding some grape juice or wine. I see some matzah. Then I see, oh, here, look, their ke'ara, their seder plate. We see some charosa, maybe, an egg, a bitza. The, we, I see some maror. I see a shank bone. Oh, and there's some candles, too, because we know on the holidays we always like candles. Okay, let's see how this family celebrates their Pesach. It's so interesting to see how different people celebrate. You saw how Polly celebrated his oh, day there. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Passover is coming, I called to mother. Look at the matzah boxes. The first said there is tomorrow night, says mommy. I remember to stay there, I say. We sat at the table a long time before we ate. I got very hungry. Mother laughs. You were telling the story of Pesach, she says. Tell me the story now. Long ago, the Jewish people lived in Mitzrayim, she tells me. The kings of Mitzrayim were called Paros. One Paro made the Jews become slaves. They had to work very hard all day, building great stone cities and pyramids. They cried out to Hashem for help. All the hard work, guys. Hashem heard their cries. He chose Moshe and sent him to Pada. Moshe told Pada, Hashem says, Let my people go. But Pada would not let the Jewish people go. Hashem sent Ten Maka to make Pada change his mind. After nine plagues, Moshe would so not let the Jewish people go. Finally, Hashem sent the tenth plague. The firstborn son in every home would have to die. But Hashem passed over all of the Jewish homes, so nobody in the Jewish homes would die. And that is why we call this holiday Passover. At last, Pada cried to Moshe, Go! Take all of the Jewish people, take all of B'nai Israel, and go! Get out of the Mitzrayim. You don't want any more Makot. Moshe told the Jewish people, We must go before Pada changes his mind. There is no time to bake bread. The people mixed flour and water, but it didn't have time to rise, so it was flat bread called matzah that they took with them. You guys, that looks like the matzah oven that they're baking the matzah oven. You know what this reminds me of? What? This reminds me of Mish'ad al mm. That they just took everything they and had, rain. they put it over their shoulder, and they just got they it. They look like they're in a very big rush. Everyone looks so yeah. busy. The Jews came to the Yam Suf. It was too deep, and it was too wide to cross. They saw the Egyptians behind them, running after them. Pada changed his mind. Moshe stretched out his stick, and the Yam Suf split. All of the Jews crossed on dry land to the other side. As Pada and the Mitzrayim followed them, the sea came back and covered them. Look, guys, you see? That's the Mitzrayim, and the sea is going to cover them. It's not splitting life anymore. Father comes home as the story ends. That is how the Jews left Mitzrayim, he says. Every year, to remember what happened, we eat matzah instead of bread for the eight days of Passover. We get rid of every crumb of bread. Who will help me search for crumbs? I'll help, I cry. The next morning, I wake up excited. I help my mommy set the table for the seder. The Haggadah is the book about Passover, mommy says. I will put one at each plate, I say. Mommy fills the beautiful seder plate with special foods. 
so kind of her to helping her mommy set the table. Big mitzvah, friends. Grandma, aunts, uncles, and cousins come for the seder. I like my cousin Ben fast. He's six. I sit next to him. Everyone has a wine glass, even me. Father says the blessing, says the beracha, and we drink the wine. My wine tastes like grape juice, because it is. <laughs> Father washes his hands without a beracha. He leans back against a pillow. He gives us all some celery. We dip it in salt water. He says a beracha, and we eat the celery. There are three whole matzah in a special holder. Father takes the middle matzah and breaks it in half. He puts one half back. He wraps the other half in a cloth. Watch where he puts the api kalman, whispers Ben. We get to hide it later. Okay, whisper back. Ben stands up. He starts to sing. I sing too. He sings man shtana. What is this? Why is this night different? Why do we eat matzah and maror? Why do we dip the maror and why do we lean on pillows? We were slaves of para in Mitzrayim and Hashem brought us out of slavery, says Daddy. Tonight, we remember those days and tell the story of Pesach to everyone. I smile because I know the story. You friends should feel special because you also know the story. Hope you guys helped tell it at the table. When no one is looking, Ben crawls under the table. I follow him. We take the api kalman wrapped in cloth. We hide it. When we come back to our chairs, no one has missed us. They snuck away, guys. I wonder where they hid it. Each person at the table reads the story from the Haggadah. When it is my turn, I say, I have a question. Yes, Sarah. When do we eat, I ask. Everyone laughs. Soon, very soon, says Daddy. First, we eat the marad. It's to remember the hard work and how hard it was for the Jewish people. Then we eat the haraset made of apples, wine, and sometimes nuts to remember the bricks and cement that the Jews had to make for para. Finally, we eat dinner. After dinner, Daddy looks for the piece of matzah wrapped in cloth. I offer a prize to the children who have the api koman, he calls out. Ben and I bring it to him. We each get a book. Yeah. The grown-ups are singing, I am very sleepy. I am waiting up for the Navi Eliyahu. He is coming to visit and to drink wine. Father says, Sarah, open the door for Eliyahu. I open the door. I don't see Eliyahu, but I feel a breeze. I think it's him. Daddy says, Ben and I can go play. Next year, I will say, Manishtana, I tell Ben. And next year, I will read from the Haggadah. I fall asleep to the sound of my family singing. I love Pesach. I also love Pesach. Me too. I can't wait to do all of these things at my Seder. And I hope you guys are excited to do all this at your Seder too. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. And make sure you watch all of the YouTube videos. And see us again tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.